Welcome back to Veneer Creations Tutorials. This week we're going to be making this stunning flower crystal chip sun catcher. If you'd like to purchase the DIY kit for this, it'll be linked down below. I've got my six inch hoop here and now I've got a metre of my 24 gauge gauge, gauge wire which I could never say and I'm going to wrap this wire around the hoop again four times or five times just to secure it on with my fingers and now I'm going to get Gold bead. And then we're going to wrap that gold bead around, keeping the gold bead on the outer side. Wrap it once. And wrap it twice. Then get your clear bead. that on, wrap once and wrap twice and then get your mother of, oh, mother of pearl chip and wrap once and wrap twice and then you can put another clear bead on wrap once twice again and then you're just going to continue that to halfway around to about here Show you again this gold bead. One, wrap, and then wrap. So it's like you're wrapping it twice every time. So we're going to carry on that pattern hot till it's halfway around. So you'll do gold, clear, chip, gold, and you'll go all the way around. Well, not all the way around, sorry, half the way around. When you've got halfway and you've done the pattern, so the gold clear chip and clear pattern, you've done that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, then you're going to secure the other side onto the hoop. So you're going to go around once, twice, three, four. Then you're going to cut that off. I use scissors just to show you. You can use your finger just to get that down. Then get another metre of your wire, your thin 24 gauge wire. And then you're going to wrap that onto the wire. It doesn't matter which way. So one, two, three, four. And then I'm just going to get that bit down so then that's secured that on and you're going to carry on the pattern so I've finished there with a gold can you see so I'm going to start the next one with the clear so get a clear bead and just make sure you hold that wire on don't pull too that don't pull too hard so that all the wire comes off the hoop either um make sure you're holding that wire on and then make sure your bead is on the outer side and then wrap once and 
twice. Get your next bead, which we are using Mother of Pearl, aren't we, on this one? So the next one is a chip. I've done that right, hasn't I? Yeah. Then we go around once. It's always hard to wrap it when you, you're doing the first part. Once you get halfway, it's actually quite simple. Then get it clear. And then a gold, and then we're just going to carry on all the way around in the same pattern. When you've wrapped your hoop in your colour one, we are going to grab some of this thin wire, cut it down to 50 centimetres. Then I'm going to pick amethyst for my petals, for my flowers. And what you're going to do is just start threading the amethyst, am amethyst chips through halfway like this. And I'm going to do five. It doesn't matter what size they are, what shape. Um, they can just create different kinds of flowers. Um, but I wouldn't do all big and all small, I guess. It's probably best to... So that's four, five. There we go. So I've got five there. Then you're going to bring them round. Oh, no, wait, that's four. Why? Oh, no, it is five. It's just that one that liked, looks like two, uh, one. So then bring them round together. And then you're going to twist at the bottom. So can you see here that it's together? And then I'm just going to make sure it's tight enough. And then I'm just going to twist. And then twist. Oh wait, that seems a little bit loose actually, that one. Make sure it's tight enough and then twist, because I'm showing you guys. There we go. And then twist about um, like a fingernail down. So I just go like this and then that's how far I twist. Then now I'm going to get five more crystal chips. One, two, three, four. And five. Bring them right down. And then make sure you leave some space because you're going to twist again. I would probably leave just over a, th a finger's worth. So it's probably about just over a centimetre. Doesn't matter if you do it a little bit shorter or longer just because. They all look different in the end, but I normally go off like just a finger's worth. So it's like, I'll show you because that's the good thing about having video, I can show you what I mean. So this one's probably a little bit longer than that one, but it doesn't matter. Can you see? So you've got your wire coming from the, and then you're kind of bending it round. And then put these right at the bend, put your chips right to the end of that wire where you've done your little um, bend. And then we're going to twist again. Okay, so you've started twisting it. Then you twist all the way. Two, 
the other one, so it looks like that. You see it's a little bit longer, doesn't matter. Some should be longer, some should be a little bit shorter, it just makes it look more like a natural, a natural uh, tree or bush. And now we're going to do it on this side. So make sure your longer piece is the one that you're using next and add five more amethysts if you've picked amethyst you can choose different ones so you can choose like rose quartz um aquamarine obsidian but i thought i'd do this one where you can choose to either have the same chips as here or different ones and i've chose like different ones just so then it looks you can really see the flowers pop and you're just going to do the same as you did on the other side so bending it and then putting all your amethyst to the end and then twisting make sure it's tight Then you've got your three first three flowers. Now I'm just gonna twist a little bit further down. So about a centimeter of twisted there. And then I'm gonna bend again. And I'm going to add my amethyst five chips. Ooh. them right to the end where the bend is and twist again like you did before and then I'm going to twist down a little bit more with these two, so just twist them together about another centimetre. Make sure your long piece that's left is on the opposite side to the one you've just done. And then add five more amethyst. And then bend like you did before. And then twist. And then just to finish it off, I'm going to get the two pieces that are left because you would have twisted right to the stem again and then twist them together again about a centimetre and just leave that like that. So we're going to be doing two of them, two of that style. And then cut yourself a 30 centimetre piece of um, wire of your thin wire. And again, add five
halfway. So I'll put them halfway like that. And then I bring these together and twist. About a centimetre down. If you've not got a ruler, just use your finger. Again, it doesn't have to be exact because no two flowers or trees are exact, so it shouldn't look that way. Add more amethyst to one of the wires. Got quite a lot of small amethysts left now. If we can get it in. <laughs> Brill, and then do the same like we did before. Create a bend and twist. And then bend, then twist these together about a centimetre, the two meeting wires and I want you to do four of them so in the 30 cut yourself some 30 meter wire and do four of these and with your 50 centimeter wire you do two of these four and two of them right so now I've got them like I've got the two flowers with five flowers on can you see how they're very different that's how they should be no two should be the same and then I've done four with just two flowers on and one I've already attached to the circle that we're going to use the hoop sorry um, so I'm just going to show you how to do that now so I'm going to grab one of my five flowered wire wraps and I'm going to add it to then grab one of your five flower wire wraps. You should have wire at the end that is still quite lengthy to wrap them onto your hoops. That's why we've used 50 centimetres for these and 38 centimetre piece of wire for the two flower ones. Right, so what you're gonna do is kind of pop both wires around your hoop and then you're gonna wrap it on like we wrapped our beads on so one two and then you're going to wrap the other side one two so you've literally just wrapped it onto the hoop so i would say that the way that's dangling now is a bit floppy so i'm going to place my flower down my hoop like this and I'm going to use some of the wire that's left to wrap some of the stem onto the wire so it's a bit more secure and it's not as floppy so I'm going to grab this piece of wire that I've got left here and make sure you go in the way you've already wrapped here yeah? and I'm just going to go in between these chips Twice, and then I'm going to go up to the next chip. Oh, and I could probably only get, oh, I can probably get that twice as well. So you're just kind of wrapping it onto your hoop. That is probably as secure as I want it now. Oh, this one's going all crazy. Very fiddly. But you've still got this bit of wire here. So I would just wrap that around twice more and then I'll probably, oh actually I know, I'll just wrap that back on. Extra secure then. So I've just wrapped the wire, I didn't really cut any off but if you've got quite a lot of wire and it's going to look quite messy you can cut a bit of the wire off as long as your flowers are secure on. So that's one part of your hoop done. Now, can you see the, the sun's just come out? <coughs> now 
Now I am going to add one of the two petals to the very opposite side where we've done these. So I'm going to do it the opposite and mirror image. So I'm going to do it here. And then this one will be done here. So the five petal one will be on this side and the two petal one will be on this side. So now I'm going to, again, pop the wires around each side of the hoop and then I'm going to wrap, wrap, and then the other piece of wire, the opposite way, wrap, wrap, wrap by the other wire, and wrap, so that's three times of each one there. And then I'm going to wrap, wrap it through the next chip, so it's like, I'll show you on the other one. Ah. You can use your scissors if you've not got pliers, because I'm not using pliers purposely to show you that you don't need them. And then I'm going to wrap. So now you've wrapped directly underneath this flower, you're going to wrap through this chip, and then go up through the next chip. That just makes it a little bit more secure. And I'll show you again with another one, so don't worry. And that's that another one of your twos secured on. And now we're going to get a five flowered butt wrap. It's starting to come together now. Now I'm going to wrap mine directly next to this two flowered one this time because this piece is a bit longer than the one that I did on this side. So I'm going to wrap one, two, with the other one, one, two, and then I'm going to go along I'm just going to use my tool there And again, just wrapping this. So when you're wrapping it, so you kind of like, I wrap it in one place and then I, the rest of it, I kind of move to one side and wrap while I'm moving it because it just makes it more secure. So that is the next flower done. And then where should I put these? I think I might do one. Maybe do them about there and there. Yeah. So I'm going to do one on the other side of the five piece flower and again just do it like I did it before but wrap it around both sides of the hoop and wrap once, twice and then wrap along the length. I'll show you again. Wrap. Then I'm using my scissors. If you've got jewellery players, that'll be better. But I'm just going to use my scissors to get down them last ends, which can be quite tricky, but just take your time. And we're going to add the last one. This has turned out so nice. One and two and one and two. And use the rest of it to wrap oh, around the length of your hoop to make it super secure. That one's a bit long. So I'm just gonna cut that one a bit. Because it didn't need to be that long. And then this side. And 
there. That's going to look absolutely stunning when it's finished. Right, so now you've got your base done. We are going to do the tail next. So grab your octagon prisms and a double jump loop and then just open up one end of the jump loop and pass it through one of the holes in your octagon. Do the same on the other side, open your jump loop up and pass it through your octagon. Whoopsie! And then do again through another and the last jump loop there like so and then you're going to add that to your mini hoop that you've got not the three inch one the very very small one then get another Optigan prism and put jump loops through both holes and then one side one of them jump loops put through this mini hoop again so it's kind of like that and then get your other jump loop on your, your one octagon and put it through the middle legs of your pentagon star so it kind of goes through the middle and then through the very center of that star I'll just show you how that is so it's through there then get another octagon Put hoops through both sides again. And then through the top of your star, there should be a little loop there for it to fit free. And then at the very bottom here, where the bottom of these two octagons you're going to put your ice prism then we're going to add this round ball prism, the smaller one which is two centimetres going to add one to that and that's going to be added to this jump loop here so the one that's the octagon that's underneath the star, the jump loop that's attached to the small hoop, you attach this to that. Don't attach it to the small loop. You're only attaching it to the jump loop that is attached to the small loop. Otherwise it won't sit properly. So I'll show you how it is in a minute. So can you see that sits correctly? Because it's only attached to this jump loop, it's not attached to this directly, you see. Then, I'm going to add, I think firstly, we'll, we'll add this detail to the centre. Before I overwhelm myself with what's going on here. Oh, let me just grab another prism. To do the centre detail, first I'm going to put a jump loop around the large prism. Just force it through. Like so. Then get a jump loop. Pop it through your small hoop. And then attach that jump loop, not the hoop, to the prism like the same as you did with the other one, the smaller one. So it's just attached there, so it's like that. 
but it will lie like this. But that's how it's done. Now I'm going to get a jump loop and add it to the top of my, this can be quite tricky, add it to the top of my large hoop, just in between the chips, can you see there? And then I'm gonna cut some chain here. Figure out how many I need. One, two, three. So I'm gonna cut a piece of this this plain chain you've got in your kit. I'm gonna cut eight, I think eight will work. Yeah, eight chains or eight loops. So make sure you count, it should be eight. Add it to the top jump loop that's on your big, that you've just added, on your big hoop. Just add it to that, so it's secured. And then add the bottom of it, of that four chained or four looped chain. To the other one, and I'm just gonna see if that's it. That's it's perfect. Yeah, so definitely eight links. That's what they call it. Eight links in your chain. Looking good. Now the rest of your chain that you've got, the rest of your plain chain, add to that very top jump loop that's on your large hoop. that it lies like that. Then try and find the place that is directly opposite on your large. So at the bottom, oh, so hard when you've got these chips to maneuver around, but you're gonna add a jump loop to the bottom of it now. Like I said, try and do it directly opposite where you've done the top one. And then add your tail to that bottom jump loop. Should have something like this. Oh wait, no. I need to add another jump loop to this chain here. And then I always like to add this jump loop. So like now you can use this to go around your curtain pole. So you can just put your jump loop through there. Or what I like to do with all mine is put my jump loop through the top one again. So that top very jump loop right at the top of your chain, I put it through the one on the top of your large, large hoop. Loop, hoop. Right, and then I'll show you that in the sun.